Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. So in today's session we will see some of the interesting MDM questions. Recently I come across some interesting Informatica MDM questions and I thought I should share those questions with you guys. So the first question is, does MDM support multiple fuzzy match key? So if you go to the MDM hub console and if you choose like the party or the business entity table where we define the fuzzy match key. So is any way or is it possible to have the multiple fuzzy match key? So far till the MDM 10.1 there is no such functionality available where we can choose the multiple fuzzy match keys. MDM that is master data management does not support multiple fuzzy match key and you can only create one fuzzy match key based on the like suppose you can use a person or you can use an organization but only one fuzzy match key is possible so far the next question is is it possible to display a number field display format in idd no it is not possible to display a numeric field format in the data uh, informatica data director it is always a var can so that is also interesting. You might have come or suppose you want to display any number format data on the IDD. So currently that functionality is not available. Does MDM smart search supports wildcat search? So if you consider the MDM 10 where the smart search is introduced, it support only simple search. The wildcard was not supported in 10.0 version. But MDM 10.1 version, if you are using the a hot fix then yes wildcat search is possible in the smart in smart search functionality yes from the mdm master data management 10.1 onward smart search support the wildcat search we can use the wildcat either at the end or in the between the search string so it's it's up to us if you want to search like this string ending with some some any other character or if you want to search the record for which if you don't know the medial content then you can do that as well the next question is are data sources used while running the bad job in the mdm so it is a very interesting question because uh, whenever we deploy or whenever you install in public mdm hub so it creates a by default data sources on the application server so whenever you use mdm hub or whenever you try to configure using MDM Hub, it it done through the data sources. What are by default get configured? But whenever you run the match job, like uh, any batch job such as stage job, load job, match or merge, tokenization, or any other MDM batch job, it is not going to use the data source one which you have configured in the or one which is get configured during the MDM installation. Then what it uses? It uses a JDBC connection. So the answer to data sources are used while database uh, data sources used while running the batch jobs in the MDM. The answer is no. For batch and the search match API calls, means even the CP API calls, JDBC, JDBC connections are established. For every communication from the master data management to the database, container container data sources are used so means whenever you do the mdm hub communication for the configuration etc the data sources are used for the bad job the jdbc connections are used the next question is should zookeeper be configured for the both when the ors is mean when both the ors are connected to the same process server in the mdm no if there are multiple ors configured in the mdm hub and they are using the same process server then no need to configure zookeepers on the each process server so that is it is mentioned here no zookeeper must be configured only once for the each process server all the other configurations linked to the same process server should have the zookeeper disabled so this is very interesting whenever you um, configure mdm hub in the cluster so this will definitely going to help you to understand the at uh, where are the location and what are the server nodes you need to install the zookeeper next interesting question is is token generation part of the composite object write call in the mdm 10 okay 
So MDM 10, 10 comes with the new, uh, again a new interesting feature that is nothing but composite object. It has a read, write, etc. operation. So like token generation means whenever you define any fuzzy match key, we have to generate the tokens. So is the token generation part of the composite object right calls? No. Answer to this question is no. In MDM, that is Master Data Management 10, tokenization is not part of the composite object write call. However, from the MDM 10.1 onwards, a write composite object call tokenizes the record. So it is a, in the 10.1, it is taken care, but if you're using 10, that is not available. Next interesting question, what are the different types of queries in the smart search services in MDM? Particularly if you know the MDM or the smart search functionality, which is used in the IDD, there are two types of queries are supported such as generic query and field query. In MDM, that is Master Data Management 10 only supports simple queries. In MDM 10.1 supports both generic query and the field queries. Next question, what is default value of the connection pool? <clears throat> so connection pool properties available in CMX server dot properties. So if you remember the installation of the informatic MDM, it has a corresponding CMX server properties file and it maintains the properties related to the MDM. Now that related to the connection, so there are several properties available for the connection like cmx.server.connectionpool.minimum size, cmx.server.connectionpool.maximum size and the values are minimum size is 5, maximum size is 100 and if you are going to uh, define the connection pool lifetime size or lifetime value it is comes with the cmx.server.connectionpool.max lifetime it is like one of one second it's a 1.8 million millions mm, seconds or it's a 30 minutes milliseconds or it's a 30 minutes Whenever we register an ORS that is operational reference store and create a new JDBC data source, the data source created will be will use the maximum and minimum connection for the pool size configured in the CMX server dot properties file. If we do not configure this value, the default value is five. So default value is five. We can change this value in the CMX server dot properties file. This is very interesting because. This is a little more in related to the environment. No one going to ask in the interview or something, but it is good to have this knowledge. How to differentiate manual merge from the batch merge when you're going to use the post merge user exit in MDM. So how to distinguish if, if you want to write some logic in the post merge user exit based on the whether it's a manual merge or the, or the batch merge. In that case, we, we should have like distinguishing factor and that factor nothing but row ID job attribute. We have to check the row ID job attribute in the user exit. If value is null for the row ID object job, then it is not a bad job. So if the row ID object, row ID underscore job value is null, that means it is manual merge job. And by that, by using that uh, convention, you can implement the logic. The next and the last inter interesting question of the MDM is when will the hub state indicator column value changes to minus 9 in history xref and the history table in the MDM. If you remember the hub state indicator valid values are 1, 0 and minus 1 that is active, pending and deleted respectively. However, where this minus 9 is coming? So, so far we always study there are only three values 1, 0 and minus 1. Where this minus n what is the use of it? So here is the explanation. If the XREP record is in a pending state, consider XREP record is pending, that is hub state indicator value is 0 and the source system sends a delete, that is we are going, if, if the source system itself sending it, that record is deleted in the source system, that is hub state indicator is minus 1 on the same record means same source system sending the record with the deleted option. The record will be hard deleted in the x ray <coughs> That means it will be physically deleted from the except table. Once it is physically deleted from the once 
pending record physically deleted from the xref the history uh, the history of the xref and the history table populated with the minus 9 value for the hofstede indicator so this record will have the value of the hofstede indicator as a minus 9 in hx in history xref and the history table if the corresponding base object record is also deleted that means there is no any other active record in the xref for that corresponding record then and then only this minus 9 value is updated in the history xref and the history table i hope these are the uh, these interesting question will definitely add some knowledge in your mdm um, mdm knowledge base and if you have any question or if you want to know a little more interesting interesting questions about the mdm then you can mention in the video below thank you for my uh, thank you for watching my video and do not subscribe my do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice time